Alex coming at you once again. Um, just thought I'd come on. I went to uh, Long Beach this morning, uh, spent some time with the family up at the beach there, and then uh, hadn't been there in a while. But there's a good, you know, seven or eight different record stores uh, in the city of Long Beach. Um, obviously, I hadn't been in a while. I think uh, they <clears throat> most of them uh, already reopened, um, and you know, there's like four record stores within like a two or three miles strip uh, near downtown so had a couple hours today and stopped by a few of them uh, two of them were a bus one of them was actually closed today um, and then the third one I've never been to it's called uh, <clears throat> the record box um, I did get a bit of footage in there so I'll, I'll uh, show that here shortly but uh, yeah Long Beach is a interesting city obviously long history with uh, you know with uh, hip-hop uh, especially and you know I think you'll see that in the way that the shop is set up uh, you know it's reverence to to hip-hop and you know DJ culture um, the guy that was uh, there today I don't know if he's uh, an owner but obviously he's uh, I'm pretty sure he's a DJ he was asking me you know if I was voting for beats and stuff like that so I think that's definitely a lot of the clientele that you see there a lot of the shops are, uh, you know, DJs and beat makers, uh, hip hop uh, artists, and stuff like that. So, anyway, uh, they, yeah, you'll see a little bit of the selection there. I flipped through the jazz, a couple other sections. Um, uh, this is the record that I picked up there. Uh, <clears throat> Oriental Wind, uh, Chilla Chilla. This is on the UK uh, Sonnet label. I've never seen this one before. Um, <clears throat> I know, so that it's uh, okay to me. He's the Turkish drummer. He's got this uh, group, Oriental Wind. It's got several records, and um, I was so happy to pick that up. Uh, I know there was some discussion about this fella, Rick Ballard, and uh, yeah. So apparently, this is this is a guy that uh, imported ton of uh, you know jazz records um, I'm not sure maybe 80s 90s and so you know that's how a lot of these records uh, got to uh, the US I don't know if it was uh, specific to the California market or if he worked in other places but uh, anyway so we got uh, okay to me's on, um, on drums of course you have uh, tuna Atno on the alto you have, um, and this is what's playing by the way, you got uh, uh, Bobo Stenson on piano, and uh, who of course is very prolific, and Thomas uh, Ostergren on bass, I'm not real familiar with him, and there he is there, and uh, so you have Tamiz, so yeah, half, half of these for the side one are uh, uh, okay Tamiz rearrangements of sort of traditional um, Turkish uh, pieces. Uh, the piece here is, uh, is called uh, Kabak. This is the first track inside B. And uh, so, yeah, it's a Tamiz arrangement of a Turkish composition. Um, the Stenson, there's a couple of Stenson pieces that are not nearly, not, not particularly good, to be honest. But uh, yeah, happy to pick that up. Yeah, just thought I'd check in real quick. Uh, I'll leave you guys with uh, some footage uh, of the store. Take care.
cleaned an Eddie Harris record a second ago. Uh, 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 this here? No, let me see. Which one was it? I got it somewhere down here. Yeah, we just have the, uh, this guy right here. Oh, yeah, that's Eddie Harris. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bangers. This is gold here. Yeah. Mm hmm. How can you do it like that?